What's up everyone, TerraQuake here, and welcome back to the Pokemon Y walkthrough. In the last part, we worked our way through Route 19 and defeated the three of our rivals back to back to back. Just had to prove our dominance, you know. And with them out of the way, we're free to move on to Snowbell City, home of the 8th Gym here in the Kalos region. Now, uh, unfortunately, you can't go straight to the gym because, guess what, the gym leader's not there. Whoa, no way, who would have guessed a, a gym leader not being in, in, his, in their town upon your arrival? Man, that never happens in Pokemon games. Nah, obviously, you know, that happens all the time. Now, here's the Pokemon Center. Um, one thing I do want to go ahead and mention is I think this lady right here, yeah. If you have a Shaman in your party, this is how you get the Gracidia flower. Um, but I don't even know if it's possible to get a Shaman anymore. And there's really only a couple items I want to uh, highlight, starting with kind of in the southwest corner. And that is going to be... Ooh, see it. Oh, I need to get to that. I need to get to that thing. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, it's going to be, I think, a full restore over here, I believe. And you're actually going to want to head, um, I think, southwest anyways. But we'll get there in a second. Um, yeah, we'll keep going this way in just a minute. For now, let's go up, and we want to go north of the Pokemon Center. I got the hiccups, apparently, for this one. You know what's crazy is I haven't even eaten dinner yet. I'm about to. You bet you that. And look at this Abomasnow, man. There's just Abomasnows chilling around town. Seems like a cool place to be. But uh, I think it may be the person upstairs that's going to give us a TM for bulk up. So, okay, no, this is, uh, this is not the house. Was it not above the Pokemon Center? Oh, it's the left house. See, man, sometimes you just gotta, you gotta, you gotta do a bit of raiding. Do a bit of raiding. Let's go talk to, can you get out of my way? Yeah, appreciate that. Here we go. So there's bulk up. There's a couple of hidden items around town. Um, other than that, I talked about the Gracidia. And then if you have the move map block on one of your Pokemon, you can get a revive from someone. But again, other than that, Snowbell City, I mean, it's snowing here. As I'm sure you can guess, it'll be an ice type gym. But again... Um, this guy's in front of the gym, and he's like, hey, he went off to the Winding Woods, um, which I think is also known as Route 20. Now, I'm pretty sure this will take you back to, what is it, Route 21 or 22? If you remember, it's that route east of Santaloon. Um, yeah, Route 21. So, we kind of checked out the left side of that route, and once, or once we beat the gym and start heading towards Victory Road, we're going to be checking out the right side of that route, but for now... Um, we want to make our way to Route 20, or sorry, Route 20, yeah, Winding Woods, and uh, that will take us to the Pokemon Village, which is ultimately where we're going to find the gym leader. Um, yeah, wild Pokemon in here, as that goes, why am I going to my team right now? Wild Pokemon in here include Jigglybuff, Noctowl, Amoongus, Gotharita, Trevenant, and Zoroark. And let's go ahead and spray Max Repel because I don't need to find any wild mons here. There's a few trainers in this place as well. And I think four of those trainers. We'll put Casper and uh, Leo up front. Because it is a double battle. First up. Now, um, it's, you know, Winding Woods is a pretty fitting name. Because uh, it's one of these places where you've got like multiple different paths. Um, and... I think they all do lead to different areas, um, so, you know, you're not going to get turned around. It's not, I don't think it's something like the turn back cave where you get, like, teleported back to the beginning if you take the wrong spot, but I'll try to cover all of them, even though there is definitely a lot. Um, there's some of those berry trees, a bunch of items lying around, but again, I'm going to do my best to uh, cover all of them and also fight the trainers, and then again, we got to get to the Pokemon Village. Since that is where the gym leader is. And we gotta, you know, send him back to his gym. Like, come on, man. Do your job. Right there's the meadow plate. Again, not too many trainers in here. I think there's like five. So, we'll be fine. We're definitely, you know, next episode will definitely be the uh, the gym. That is for sure. I think I can confidently say that. But here we go. First battle. Now, the Pokemon Village. This won't be the last time we visit it, technically. Because in the post game, there's actually a legendary that uh, that you can find here. Some of you may or may not already, uh, or may already know what it is. I won't spoil it just in case. But yeah, so we'll come back here in the post game, I'm sure. Because, as I've been saying, I do plan on covering it. Um, for now, whew, we got a little duo of fairy types. We'll gang up on the Slurpa first. 
But yeah, I hope you guys are all having a good Wednesday, a good middle of your week. I don't know, is it mid? Because it's just middle of the week. Is it a mid-Wednesday? Personally, Wednesdays are fine for me because it's like the one day I sleep in since I don't go to the gym in the morning, so I uh, I don't mind them. But yeah, there we go. Casper's finally getting caught up with the team. He was kind of the lowest level for a while, but that's good to see. Um, Yeah, at least we don't have, you know, any more junk with, like, Team Flare. We sort of dealt with all that recently, so that's nice. Don't have to worry about them anymore. Um, I don't remember if you even, like, see Lysander. No, because Lysander died, didn't he? Isn't that the whole thing? Because he was, like, right by the, 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 you know, he was still in the laboratory when the thing went off. I don't know. What's the lore behind that? I know there's got to be some lore behind that, man. There's got to be. <laughs> All right. I don't know. They wouldn't actually kill off someone in a Pokemon game. Nah, but I think they would. The Pokemon manga definitely would. Yo, if y'all haven't seen some of the stuff in the Pokemon manga, dude, there's some graphic stuff in there, man. Um, There's an item, or sorry, a TM that's kind of taunting us. And, wow, it's being... <laughs> that's kind of creepy. The Hex Manex just, like, standing there guarding it. Let me go south first, though. See where this takes us. Another little opening. And, yeah, we got a trainer down here. I thought so. But, yeah, you can get through this place pretty quickly. Um, I'm pretty sure all the trainers are avoidable. And if you know where you're going, then you can. Also, my computer sounds very loud right now. I mean, y'all know my potato of a laptop can't, can't handle a whole lot. So, that's not too surprising. I've noticed, though, I don't think the microphone really ever picks it up. So, I mean, thank goodness. You know, thank goodness it doesn't sound like a, a jet engine in the background of each video. That's for sure. And here comes Granbo. We'll stay in just because fire resists fairy. But we did get up a level, so that's nice. But yeah, you're going to be seeing a lot of fire, or sorry, a lot of fairy types in here anyways. I mean, it is a forest after all, so I suppose it makes sense. But yeah, this is one of the last areas, you know, if you want to make any kind of last minute addition to your team. A super potion. You're level 53 popping a super potion. What are you doing? Like, I'm sorry, but what? But yeah, if you want to make any last, uh, you know, final additions to your team, you got here, you got the Pokemon Village, and then basically Victory Road. And that is about it. That is about it. And I'm actually going to keep Pyroar up front for the next fight, which is going to be with that little fairy tale girl, whatever they're called. I call them the creepy girls because, dude, this trainer class in the Hex Maniac. I see him in my nightmares, bro. I swear, man. They're like they're like my sleep paralysis demon. Nah, I'm just kidding. But doesn't mean they're not creepy. Speaking of creepy, did y'all see any horror movies like during October? I mean, October is when like, you know, all the horror movies drop, right? All the companies are trying to get out their horror movies. Personally, I didn't. I mean, I'm on a college campus and I don't know. I don't really go to the movies when I'm here. The last, wait, what was the last movie? It was recent. Oh, yeah, it was um over the summer, dude. Me and my mom saw, uh, what's it called? The new Minions movie. What was it? Despicable Me 4, right? Hey, Minions movie, you know, those are always a W, I feel like. I feel like. But before that, dude, it was a while. Because that was, what, July? Before July, it was like two years or something. Okay, maybe a year and a half. Whenever Top Gun Maverick came out. Maybe that was only a year then, but still, I, I just, it, sh it shows that I don't go to the movie theaters too often. Or really, I go, like, pretty rarely. But I do enjoy them. I mean, hey, you tell me to get a bucket of popcorn and go, you know, sit and watch a movie at a movie theater, dude, I'm gonna enjoy that. If I get to eat that bucket of popcorn, yeah. Load it up with butter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright, what am I going on about? Uh, <laughs> All right, let's go to Casper. I think I'm going to heal you up, though. Only two more trainers left in this area. Oh, we got six more Moo Moo Milks. No. I think in Pokemon Gaia, like in one of last week's episodes, I ran out of Moo Moo Milk. Now we're about to run out here. And uh, I never bother to, like, go back and uh, buy more. Also, wow, what a great dead end. Who's a, Who puts a trainer tip sign over there when, like, you know no trainers are going to, you know, see it? If that's just a dead end. Like, what? What is that, man? What is that? Also, I feel like that is the right way to go. So, uh, let's go this way first. Let's see where this takes us. Well, there's a cut tree that I, uh, can't get to. Meaning I can't fight that Pokey fan who's got a Dedenne, but that's fine. Um, I, I'm pretty positive you don't need to go that way. Let's, uh... Alright, well, since we can't fight that dude, I think we're gonna throw Avalug to the front. Um, because I was preparing for that battle, but nah, he wants to hide behind a cut tree. Okay. 
I mean, I'd be scared of me too, since I am a Pokemon master after all and stuff, so, yeah. Um, <clears throat> anyways, Hex Maniac, where's that? Because again, the, the little, like, the paths don't make sense. Like, we're far away from the Hex Maniac right now, but we could be, like, right next to her in a second. Um, but we're getting close to the village. I don't know if it's south or, or west. It looks like, oh, it's definitely this way. Gotta be this way. Alright, well, I hope this path is the Hex Maniac then. If not, then, you know, everyone just seems to be avoiding me. I mean, that's just, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. Everyone avoiding me, really? We can go up this way, though, and, uh, wow. See? See, this is, this is where it gets a little trippy. That's back to the, to the, to the fairy tale, uh, tale girl, whatever they're called. Alright, so we're heading this way again, and then let's head to the left again, instead of going up, and again, let's just go south. <laughs> yeah, okay, maybe I'm never gonna be able to find that hex maniac. Uh, but here we go! Hey, look who it is! We found him. It is Wolfric. Now, uh, he's got his big jacket on that he's not really even wearing. His arms aren't even in the sleeves. But yeah, um, this is the gym leader of Snowbell City, so we gotta, you know, get him back to the gym. And, uh, all the Pokemon got scared, but he's like, nah, this dude's chill. You know, y'all can, y'all can come out. Um, so yeah, hopefully I can find that Hex Maniac, but just, you know, um... Activate this cutscene, and he will head back to the gym. Now, for the uh, for the Pokemon Village, wild Pokemon around here include stuff like Ditto, Gotharita, Amoongus, Jigglypuff, Noctowl, and Zoroark. Mostly similar to the uh, to the what's it called? To the uh, Pokemon, or sorry, the Winding Woods. Here's a Snorlax just chilling under a canopy. Honestly, that's kind of a vibe. And then up here looks like we have an item. Again, uh, we'll come back here in the post game for another reason, for a legend. But for now, we can just run around. I'll see if there's any items to pick up. I'm not gonna look at the garbage cans because I feel like there's some Pokemon that will appear there. Um, but we'll see. Um, anyways, let's pick up. Yo, I, I, dude, I, I got beef with Bulbapedia. The reason I went silent there for a second is because it, like, reloads my page just randomly. Like, yeah, thanks, Bulbapedia, for making me lose my spot on where I was. Appreciate that, man. I'm trying to help out the people, and, and you're just, you know. But, yeah, there we go. There's the entrance to the cave, but that dude's blocking it. What gives that guy the right to block it? What, is he, like, is he, like, friends with Mewtwo? Are they just boys? It's like, all right, Mewtwo, you don't want me to let this kid in until, until he becomes champion, right? Like, bro, come on. Alright, head through this canopy. You can find a full restore back here. I'm, I think there's, like, items you can sort of maybe get in the garbage cans, but there's probably Pokemon, too. So, uh, other than that, we've sort of done our job, though, right? We've we've rescued. Uh, not rescued. But we got the gym leader to go back to his gym. And uh, let's see let's see if I can find this Hex Maniac. I, I thought I covered everything. By the way, you can find a Protein and Repeat Ball um behind that cut tree that we saw earlier so again you know if you really want a protein in the dedene battle and uh and a repeat ball then you can bring cut along but uh let's see if i can locate this this stupid hex maniac uh we are uh now nah, we're gonna find her bro i ain't letting another trainer dodge me you kidding me i am not letting another trainer dodge me man so let's see i think okay there was a staircase, though, back where we originally... Yeah, this one is a different spot. Here we go. See, I'm telling y'all how confusing it gets. It's a weird. There's a hidden bomb mushroom. I mean, it just looked like a hidden item. The senses were going off. And then over here is an X accuracy. And then... Let's see. Where else can we go? I don't think there's anything... Yeah, there's nothing else. We can go from here... And, uh, you know what? I think you also need Cut to reach this Hex Maniac, too. That is just a darn shame. That's a darn shame. Are people really just avoiding me like that? Because if we go, I think if we go this way now... Okay, never mind. Yo, but apparently you need Cut to get to her, too. Now, uh, the TM by her is Energy Ball. But, dude, that stinks, man. You really still put in Cut passages this late in the game? Yeah, well, I'm gonna have a word with the developers. Nah, I'm just kidding. 
But I guess that's it then. I can't take on the last two trainers because I don't have cut on me. Again, if you don't have cut either, you're not missing out on much. Unless you really want energy ball. Um, but I don't need it. Uh, I mean, maybe off camera I'll come back and grab it. But yeah, that is uh, about going to do it for this episode. So we will be taking on the eighth and final gym next time. For now though, hope you all enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day. And until then, deuces.